So I'm attempting to align this last part of the uh, R4B, the 5595 kilohertz oscillator, and the oscillator's crystal can be changed with a variable capacitor to set the frequency exactly. Anyway, it's kind of interesting how they set it. So first we say set the pass band to 4.8 and align the pass band knob with the longest midpoint of the line. So here we can do that. We're on 4.8 here. And I'm pretty much in the center of this long curved line. So that's where that has to be. All right. And I want to be five. I'm already connected there. I want to go. I'm on TP1. As you can see, here's the meter. And there's TP1. We're connected with the meter, with the VTVM. So, or I'm sorry, the, just the, v, the VOM. So, 5645. Five. There it is. And you want to get the highest ring possible. So, yes, I'm, I'm at about 1.05 volts. So now we want to decrease the frequency and make that go into half. So here I'm going to actually turn the volume up a little bit. Let's decrease the frequency now. I'm going down counterclockwise. And we got to get the meter down to dot five. There's about dot five. All right, actually about there, dot five two. Okay, so that's about right for the dot 104 we had. Now we take a reading of the reading here. Frequency is five dot six four five, five dot six four three five. 5.6435, I'll note it, 5.6435, we'll write this down, 5.6435, that's our low frequency, and now we want to go through that level, go up in frequency, and see where the high frequency is, where it goes to dot 5, so here we're going to start spinning up our frequency, And there's there's the high point. That makes me want to redo the low point. Low point's actually dot five five. Dot five five. Okay, dot five five, which is five dot six four three five four. Five dot six four three five four. Okay, we'll add a four to it to be pedantic, and there we go. That's our low part. Okay, let's get the high frequency. Let's go up in frequency now. Going up, going up, going up. Let's go through the high point of dot one zero. Now we're going to keep going up until we hit dot five five. There's dot five five. Let's note the frequency. It's going to be five dot six four five seven four. Five dot six four five seven four. All right, now let's subtract these and get a difference. So look for the calculator here. Let's clear this off. Okay, five dot six four five seven. 
four. Is that right? Yep. We're going to subtract off to a minus of five dot six four three five four. That looks bad. I didn't put a decimal in there. Okay, five dot six four five seven four minus five dot six four three five four. Five dot six four three five four. Then we get dot o two two. We'll take that in half to get the center frequency. That's dot one one. Add that to the lowest number. So we'll add that to the low frequency here to get the midpoint. We'll say plus five dot six four. Yikes. Yeah, that's right. Three five four equals okay five dot six four four six four is the frequency we want to dial up on the generator now four dot six four four six four four dot six four four dot six four four three four six four four dot six four four six four Four six four four. Okay, so we're at five dot six four four six four. That's correct. Now at that frequency I want a zero tone. I want a zero B tone. That's not zero, so I gotta adjust to adjust uh, C61 for a zero beat. C61 is in here somewhere. There it is. It's way down in here. Let's zero beat that thing. I did this before and it seemed like it was the slug was way too down there. Way too far down there. So let's Change it around once again. There it is. It's hard to get to, but let's do our best. Got burnt my tube. I have no light. I can't really see in there. There we are. That's all the further I have. That's as low as I can get it, so it's not quite zero beaded, but I can't go any further. So that's as good as I can make it. Ah, this thing's out of tolerance by a good bit. Okay, well, that's about it. Gonna go on now and see what else I can do with this thing. Looks like the RF circuits are next, so those seem pretty good, but let's put an antenna on the radio and see how it works now with all this realignment. So I went through all this stuff. <sighs> this is easy. This is really easy to do. I just used my generator on 50 KCs. This is kind of painful. I did this, but when you adjust T7 and T10, there's not much difference. And T14 will peak on TP1. So, 
This part's kind of painful. Yeah, this worked out okay. SBS9, T7010 maximum. These these don't do much. You can adjust these, but mm, you don't get much difference. Yeah, as they note here, T, T14, this does peak nicely, so that worked out well. Now this part is just darn painful. So this is what I spent an hour or two on today, but six five six four five on the generator pin one to b2 i'm still pretty much there s9 pass band yeah this is odd so i did this and it worked out pretty well and what's funny is you go all the way down here and then you're messing around with twisting these wires on this crystal can which does work it does work as the instructions note i did get the signal down and I went through here again as I said do it again and those cans did peak um, what cans peaked the ones toward the end here anyway this was a lot of work and yeah so t5 and t6 did be peak a little bit and then I we've just done this oscillator part here so this pretty much finished up the RF the IF stuff low IF and high IF so it will be interesting to see if this radio works any better. It didn't seem bad to me, but the pass band seemed all fouled up. So, all right, I'm going to put an antenna onto it and see if it works any better. This thing is hard to align. I'm telling you that. It's not, not a pushover for the uh, faint of heart. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And again, this is the alignment of the 52-year-old radio. So I think after I work on these two radios, I'm going to put them away and... Do some real work for my employer and besides that I'm going to uh, try to maybe learn some SDR so we'll put the 1968 technology away and do some SDR stuff hey thanks a lot for watching and have a great day